should be able to hear and talk. Okay, hello, uh, this is Jason Key with SB Grid. Um, uh, is the audio working properly? Is anybody out there? I see a couple of exclamation marks here. So you can also reach me on the chat uh, window here. We have uh, the chat open if you have questions uh, during the talk. Um, so it's 11 o'clock, so let's get started. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, virtual screening with the Schrodinger 2012 package uh, on our SB Grid computing clusters. Um, so systems check. Uh, seems like everything is working. Uh, if your audio isn't working or if you can't hear me, uh, please send me a chat uh, and let me know that things aren't working here. Um, from here, it appears everything's working properly, so we're going to go ahead. So today I want to talk about uh, virtual screening with uh, Schrodinger 2012 too, and I'm not going to go too into depth about the sort of guts of the Schrodinger package and the virtual screening. Uh, uh, we are fortunate enough to have uh, the Schrodinger 2012 drug discovery suite available to SB Grid uh, consortium members. Um, this uh, is a powerful suite of programs, uh, really sort of top-notch industry-leading stuff used by pharma companies all over the world. And um, it's, to me at least, it's an impressive, uh, it's an impressive collection of programs. It's very powerful, allows you to do a multitude of things. We have licenses available for uh, everything within the small molecule discovery suite. So I've just listed those programs here. Um, I think that the primary uh, interest would probably be for the virtual screening, uh, and then the rest of these packages essentially allow you to uh, prepare your uh, libraries or your receptor for screening or to interpret the results from your screening. Um, the licensing system for this works on a token system where we have uh, a set number of tokens and each one of these applications has uh, a certain number of tokens allotted to it. Uh, some programs are worth more or less and when you launch a job, when your job is running, it checks out tokens from our token server and then when the job completes, the tokens are returned so that only a certain number of um, tokens can be utilized at a, a certain time. Um, but we have, we have quite, we have, we have a good number. I think we have 120 or something. So we should have enough for uh, many jobs to, to be run concurrently, depending on, on what people are using. They are, uh, if you're running on a cluster, uh, there are tokens per core. So in some cases, um, you could use up a, a lot more tokens for, say, a, a lig prep job if you're running you know, huge libraries or something. But um, we should have plenty. So, uh, so how do you get this? This is in the this is in the SB Grid uh, programs tree. It's uh, it's not there by default. So we ask that you request it. It's um, it's pretty big in terms of yeah. disk usage, so we don't push it out just to everyone, uh, but we will gladly install it if it's something that you're going to use. Just email us, help at sbgrid.org. Uh, there's Mac and Linux versions. Uh, we do ask that if you're, if you're going to use the, the collection, the, the sbgrid uh, Schrodinger package, join our Schrodinger users mailing list. Then we know uh, um, who's using it. It's a uh, great uh, way for people to report their experiences, talk about problems, um, and uh, put the address uh, for that there below. Uh, you can also email me or email help at SB Grid to, to get on that list. So getting started. So one of the great things about the Schrodinger package is that it's all run within uh, from uh, the Maestro interface. So we have this uh, graphical interface that uh, allows you to essentially run everything with, from within the program and create workflows to go from 
your you know, raw PDB file and uh, ligand libraries all the way through to, to uh, virtual screening and docking on, uh, on our cluster. So uh, once you have Schrodinger installed, you can simply type Maestro at your terminal. Uh, once you have your um, SB grid uh, environment initialized, and this runs on Linux and Mac, like I said. Um, so it's, it's very uh, easy and simple to use. Um, if you need help, Schrodinger has a great help section on their website. They have uh, dozens and dozens of videos on how to get started with, with Maestro. Um, there are uh, lots of documentation is available. And you can, if you get into, uh, into a, a bind or you can't find what you're looking for, you can email uh, help at schrodinger.com. Let them know that you're an SP Grid user and they're, you're using this package, and you should be able to get help that way. You can also uh, get help from us here at SP Grid as well, help at sbgrid.org. So I want to talk a little bit about the cluster right now that we're, we're using for our, our, SP, our SP Grid cluster for um, the maestro jobs is called Goldfinger. So after the James Bond villain that I've pictured here. Um, our cluster, this is a 64 core cluster, not uh, massive, but uh, decent. Um, to get started, first you need to get an account. So please email accounts at spgrid.org to get your account set up. Uh, once you have your account, you just need to set up your environment so that you can use this cluster. Uh, I have a, uh, a script that will do this for you with minimal input. It just prompts you for your account credentials and passwords, and it will set up your SSH keys and your Schrodinger host file. So your Schrodinger host file is referenced by the Meister interface when you use the program in order to uh, use the, the cluster or your local host to run your jobs. Um, so uh, if you intend to uh, use our cluster, email me. I can pass this on to you. It's pretty easy to do. Here I've got a, just a quick example of the Schrodinger host file. It, this is all documented as well. But you can just simply configure the, the SP Grid cluster and the path to the programs and your username. But uh, just drop me an email. I'm happy to pass this on. We'll make this available to everyone who wants to use this. Uh, so that you can submit jobs on the uh, Goldfinger cluster. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the workflow of, for virtual docking because I think that that's really where the interest is going to lie here. Uh, there's really two steps. First, you need to prepare your, your ligand libraries, and then secondly, you need to prepare your protein receptor or your receptor of choice. So uh, the ligand preparation is done with a program called LigPrep, and uh, what it does is it, it goes and it takes your ligand library and establishes the proper protonation for your ligands and uh, the charges, uh, deals with the, the chirality and antimers of your, of your compounds, and generates the, the conformers used for docking. So when you do the virtual docking, you have pre-calculated conformers for all of the ligands in order to speed up the, the calculation. These, so these, these conformers only need to be calculated one time. So uh, lig prep only needs to be run once. So what we've done is calculated libraries for uh, a subset of the zinc-12 compounds and also uh, the library we have here at, at HMS for the uh, ICCB screening facility. Uh, we would prefer to calculate these things one time and make them available. Obviously not everyone wants, has the ability to share the, um, uh, their libraries, and so if you need to calculate your own conformers, that's, uh, that's definitely okay. But if we can uh, pass on the standard pre-calculated libraries ready to dock, we can save everyone a lot of, uh, a lot of computational time. So, Preparing your protein uh, receptor is, is pretty straightforward with the Maestro uh, interface. There's a protein preparation wizard in the uh, GUI. There's a prep whiz button that you can click on that will walk you through importing your PDB, adding your uh, hydrogen atoms, assignment of charges, 
cleaning up the water molecules that are not involved in bonding your ligand or in your in your uh, ligand binding site, fixing your selenocysteines and uh, a variety of other things, correcting for alternate conformers and dealing with uh, rare rotomers that are not necessarily uh, accurate in your structure. So I want to jump now uh, to submitting jobs, and I'll, I'll jump back over to the uh, um, to the interface to submit those. So all jobs are submitted from within the Meister interface, which is uh, very convenient. All the queuing, file transfer, uh, dividing the jobs into sub-jobs, which is particularly relevant for lig prep, all that's handled transparently uh, from, from Maestro. So, and the logging is visible and updated in Maestro's um, logging monitor, it's, its monitor utility. So you don't have to transfer your scripts, your, you don't have to SSH over to check your logs, all, all of that is available as you, uh, from the Maestro interface as, as when you run your jobs. So getting started here, so I've showed you a little screen cap of the, the Maestro interface. Um, and what I'm showing here is uh, for a lig prep job, so you load your compound library and you'll, you'll initialize, you'll start the job and you'll be prompted for the hosts you want to use to, to run your job. Um, this interface isn't consistent across all of Maestro, so I'm going to show it a couple different times, but uh, uh, it allows you to choose which host you want to run on. So um, if you have a properly configured Schrodinger host file, the SPGrid cluster will be one of your choices. Now as you work through the, the workflow for the virtual docking, there'll be a lot of, of steps where you're um, you're, you're preparing your, your protein receptor for uh, the virtual screening. Not all of these need to be run on the cluster. I mean, a lot of these are, you can easily run locally. Uh, they're very fast. But when it comes to uh, the actual lig, lig prep jobs and the glide jobs, you're going to want to select the cluster. So I'm showing that here. So you can, you can select the area highlighted in yellow. That's our, our SB grid cluster. And when you start that, your job will be submitted uh, to that cluster. So I'm going to show this in a sort of different context. This is uh, in preparing the receptor, uh, your, your protein receptor for ligand. The interface is a little different. You click the start button the same way to start the job, and then you're presented with this uh, dialog where you can, in this case, use a drop-down menu to select your, your host to, to submit your jobs. So. So that should get you started. Um, happy to uh, entertain questions here. Please feel free to contact us at uh, help at sbgrid.org. Um, you're also, uh, help at schrodinger.com is also available. And uh, if, you, uh, if you'd like to get started with the virtual screening, please join our Schrodinger users mailing list. Um, so that's our brief introduction to uh, getting started here, I'd be happy to uh, entertain questions. Maybe. I see Mick on there, I don't know. Like I said before, please feel free to contact uh, help at SP Grid if you have questions. We can get you, uh, we can get you started with this, um, particularly uh, if we need to get the uh, packages installed. Um, All right. I guess that'll wrap it up. Uh, uh, thank you for joining.